we are here today again uh, regarding the representation that we have submitted uh, the other day and today also we are submitting a representation on behalf of the civil degree aspirants. Uh, the day also we have mentioned we have asked the commission to conduct re-exam re or normalization of marks for the civil engineering de uh, degree paper. So we thought they will answer for diploma, they have already answered but for degree they did not say anything so and since we were getting a lot of pressures from uh, the civil experience and moreover they have around 400 signatories who are in favor of uh, reconducting the exam because we have mentioned in the representation today also uh, in the month of December if I'm not mistaken uh, this com combined educational service examination was conducted so for, for the post of lecture where 100 questions used to come so out of that 100, 76 questions were taken from there and it was uh, given this time in the CTSC civil degree papers. So we feel that it is valid enough to ask for uh, re-examination. So accordingly, we have submitted the representation and we are hopeful that NPSC will also do the needful at earliest. So uh, our intention is not to disturb uh, this NPSC, the functioning and all. But uh, like I have mentioned, we get a lot of pressures from the aspirants, so we have to listen to their grievances also, because we are representing the aspirants. At the same time, <coughs> there are people, quite, quite the number, mm -hmm. you know, with mm -hmm. the different opinion. Yes, yes. Seen that. Why do you think that uh, this issue arises from them? Yeah, actually, in the from the beginning, there were some people who wanted re-exam and there are some people who say they, they don't want re-exam. But we have to look at the majority of the options now. Now the majority of the people are saying that they want re-exam because the, the question papers were, like I said, it's copy only. So for that reason, since we're representing the experience, we have to do what the majority demands. So therefore, uh, it all depends on the NPSC whether they will accept our uh, appeal or not. So we, we are hopeful that they will uh, do the needful, they will reconduct the exam. Today, me and my friends, we are a group of numbers of aspirants who have applied for NPSC, CTSC, uh, degree and diploma exams. We are here and we are here, uh, here in NPSC office because since uh, diploma paper has been cancelled, but degree paper has been withheld without cancelling it and without any reply on that and uh, we are here because uh, since we failed that degree paper also should be cancelled means that it should be re-examined that's why since we have a lot of a uh, lot of problems regarding the this year's exams so that's why we are here we feel that uh, exams should be reconducted because we have our own standpoint and we are not against those who are in those who are in favor of you know like uh, not, ha not having the re-exam re of the degree, degree uh, CTSC paper. And uh, we are also not against anybody else. We are also not against anybody else who have done well in the uh, degree paper. But we are here with our own points and we are here with our own standpoint. So some of the standpoints are like, uh, uh, like uh, firstly, uh, 76, qu 76 questions out of 100 were repeated in uh, in a degree paper so we feel that that is not a proper and we feel that that is not right and it seems like uh, it is just being biased to the CSC candidate because uh, there are many aspirants who have not appeared the CSC uh, exams also those who appear means like among those who have appeared for CSC exams and even in a CSC exam there there is a criteria like uh, only 60% and above can appear for CSC exam so so among that, among the CTSC aspirants, there are many uh, aspirants who have who have that uh, criteria below that. So that's why, uh, from that pers uh, perspective, uh, we feel that uh, repeating questions from CSC was not right in the degree degree paper. And also, uh, secondly, diploma paper was cancelled. So we feel that uh, 
It was cancelled because uh, 177 questions was repeated from degree to diploma paper. But we felt that if diploma was conducted earlier than the degree, the same questions, 177 questions would have been repeated in the degree, letting it to cancel the degree paper. So we felt that if diploma paper was cancelled today, why not degree? Why not degree? Uh, why degree is left alone without any response? So that's what we want to ask the commission. And thirdly, there are a lot of questions which come in a degree paper which, is, uh, which are out of syllabus. So we felt it was not right to ask questions on the syllab uh, without the, uh, the questions which was asked out of the syllabus. And then fourthly, uh, the questions paper was of very low quality, which uh, we should say, because in a, even in the other states exam, in other PSC exams, uh, they are like a certain level of questions which is of low, uh, high and medium is there. But the NPC, the standard of question that they said, uh, it's like, uh, you know, it's very unpredictable whether it is of low or high. So here I would just put a question, what makes you decide or, you know, yeah. that these questions are not up to that standard? How do you back that uh, statement? Yeah, uh, means like uh, this year's in this year's exam, uh, in a paper one was okay. Paper one was paper one was okay for every aspirant, but paper two contained a lot of uh, numericals, which we didn't expect uh, as compared to the previous year's standards standards of questions. So, and even among the numerical questions, uh, there were a lot of questions which require only the KLC which means we uh, calculator in engineering term we call it that KLC which we solve only by KLC so uh, it requires only KLC to solve that numerical so there were like maybe uh, two to three questions or maybe even more than that there were such kind of questions which we couldn't able to solve manually by hand so we feel that such kind of questions are not expected to be asked in the the uh, NPSC exam there are you were mentioning about it there are people who disagree with this movement of yours yeah yeah uh, why do you think that is? Uh, actually, that uh, I cannot say why they disagree or why they are opposing with our opinions. I cannot say. And from our perspective, also we are not against them. Those who have, we are not against those aspirants who have opposed to our opinions. But we are just against the commission, and we are just against their system. The question, the kind of question that they have conducted this year, especially because in the previous year such incident was not happening. But this year, the repetition of questions, many questions from uh, CSC to degree and then from degree to diploma. So this is our main intention that we are just against the system that it was uh, not pro uh, conducted in a proper way and the question was not set in a proper way this year. That's why we won the re-examination. How many uh, how many years have been you, you have you been preparing for this examination? Uh, I have appeared. Uh, this is the third, fourth time I have appeared. Mm -hmm. So I have cer certain experiences, I have some experiences regarding the previous year's exams also. So, basing on that, I could see that this year was really different. And this year something was, something is not okay and something is wrong. And that is the reason that we should demand for re-examination. So actually, today we are here to submit our representation to the commission. So, our main issue, our brother has highlighted before, but I, I don't need to mention those points again, but one of the main thing that most everyone agrees, in fact, the association feel is that the question paper, the standard, it's very low. Any aspirant, any competent aspirant will know that the standard is low. And then, for example, last year we had, our main issue is, last year we had on December, right? we had common educational service so there are 100 mcqs in common edu educational service examination conducted by the npsc out of those 100 questions 76 of them were copy pasted repeated in the same fashion same manner so by doing that a lot of factor luck factor becomes a determinant factor in selecting the Experience, not based on the core competence on the I subject. There is no, I, uh, I don't think there is any such rule. But usually, one of the e examination it is conducted in such a way that 
there is an element of randomness in the question paper so that no the question paper does not benefit a specific book set of questions nor any set of state question paper or because see the question paper of course it is in the syllabus and then the syllabus is also another point because most many questions are out of syllabus for example in degree paper we do not have stones paints as a building material subject those two subjects but those are asked frequently we have those subjects in diploma but we do not have them in degree paper so every year questions from those topics are asked so of course we do not have the opportunity to raise the question every time we prepare for those subjects but as a standard we have high regard for the commission so recruiting the top this is a top recruiting agency for state engineering services so i believe the standard should be high and then specific set of syllabus if they follow it will be very good and then one more point is that uh, one of the point they mentioned earlier is that they say the question paper is being set up uh, it has been set up by two different agencies but uh, we it's very it's not so convincing to buy that story because how is that possible if it is being set up by two different agencies the same mistakes the same numbers are copy pasted from the st within the Nagaland question paper that, that also from the previous year the setting agencies I think it is better if the Commission look up and set up a give the question paper to a more competent authority because the right question paper right now is being set up by it looks like it seemed like they, they are actually not fully invested in setting up the question paper or not competent enough because the level is not up to not so the standard is very it's de degrading okay uh, regarding the questions repetition that uh, that you have asked that uh, is there any rules that the questions should be repeated from the previous year exams of course uh, we have no certain rules or regulations that questions should be repeated or not but we feel like this is not uh, the questions repeated from the CSC was like we feel like it's being like bias because it's being like bias upon certain groups well, we feel like it is being biased only upon certain the certain groups is in, yeah. yeah those who have appeared CSC exams of course we are not against those who have appeared not the CSC, ex CSC can, exams candidate we are not against them but because on the other hand out of 1,500 applicants, uh, CTSC, only around 500 students appear for CSC, mm -hmm. and the remaining 1,000, around 1,000 didn't appear for CSC. Not so, everyone is eligible for the exam. And also, like I have mentioned before, regarding the eligibility, not everyone is eligible for CSC exams also. So, basing on that point, we feel like this repetition is like is not uh, is not right or is not correct to repeat in the from CSC to uh, CTSC. That is the point.